We back again, we back again. Energy's real high, phone's tripping out, not gonna stop us. So we're just gonna pick up and uh, move right into the next thing. So if you're just chiming in and you miss, and you don't know what I'm talking about, go to video one. So um, next thing, next symptom uh, that occurs or could occur when you're going through awakening process, and the process never stops until you reach your highest your highest good to you reach your fullest potential you're going to always go through these symptoms they're just not going to be as bad the more you um the more you elevate and the more you um vi the, the higher you vib vibrate the less intense the uh, waking process will be so now we're just going to go into um power surges so you may feel experiences of like warm sensations on your body or you might feel like a jolt of energy just come through you um those are power surges and that's the energy um moving from the base the kundalini into the crown chakra so power surges you could um experience um so sometimes the energy can come so intense that you feel sick i know sometimes when the energy comes in i feel like really really dizzy and i almost feel like i'm gonna throw up so if you ever feel like dizzy faint spells um where you feel like you're gonna kind of like uh you know throw up or just feel faint and sick that could be because the energy is so intense coming in and you're just not really used to that high vibrational energy so try to keep yourself grounded if you experience that um also another thing that you experience is if you're a healer and you're like a uh especially um uh, healer doing like Ricky or some type of massage, uh, you can also feel that your palm chakras will always be hot and full of hot sensation from your palms to your palm chakras. So that's a little bit about uh, power surge. Um, you can, like I said, check out the website and go more into it. Just trying to just give you a little bit of information, share a little bit of information from my channel. So yeah, you also experience, uh, can't hear you. Okay, so also you will experience looking and feeling younger. You will start, because what happens is you start to become more childlike. You start to drop all of these labels, all these worries, all this stress. And then you uh, start to drop worries. And, and also you'll drop weight because the worry and the stress is really just like, um, it's all bottled up in your weight. So when you release all that weary and stress, you start to shed off mucus. So, yeah. So anyway, you'll start to look younger and youthful and more just rejuvenant. Like, I see a lot of women and even guys just starting to look so young. Like, they'll be 50, 60, just, just melanin, just popping, just popping. I love it. Can you hear me now? I know you say you can't hear me. Can anybody hear me? So, um... You also start to experience more vivid dreams, more lucid dreaming, more astral projection, um, more astral traveling. Let me see. So certain things won't don't affect you like they used to, like people dying or divorces or any type of loss. It just doesn't phase you anymore because you know there's no such thing as a loss or a death. Everything is equal to rebirth. So. Certain stuff like that don't even phase you no more. You might feel like you're almost being, you might at first feel that you're being like heartless or carefree, but that's not really what it is. You're just really becoming the master of your emotions and not letting your emotions control you. That's the Jedi mind frame that you have to really get used to. People are like, well, I, I don't see how you do it. It's definitely a practice. It's something that only you know how to only you're going to know how to do. So this phone is going to get hot again. So if it cuts off this time, I would just probably come on and do another video another day to finish it up. But you also can just check out the website and see for yourself. Um, So a lot of synchronicity will also start to happen. You'll start to notice that you'll start to manifest stuff real fast. Like you might be like, I need a drummer for my event. Hint, hint. Or you might be like, I need this, I need that. Ask, and this shall come. You will notice that you'll start to receive stuff even faster. 
And you just start to manifest more things that you want in your life rapidly. It starts to happen really rapidly. rapidly. And like I said, synchronicity. These synchronicities and these um, deja vu moments, what I like to call them is just sticky notes. They're just sticky notes that you stuck in this reality to remember. Before you even came here, you, you placed these sticky notes here in this reality so you can remember, hmm, ah, yes. So just flow with it and keep picking up on those sticky notes and those synchronicities because it just all points to you being on the right path. Whether the situation be quote unquote good or bad, there's no good or there's no bad. There's just outcome and there's just flow. So don't judge it and just flow with it. Um, also, your, perspe- your uh, perspective will, um, will start to alter. You'll start to see things in many different layers in many different ways. You won't just see one thing as one way because there's many different ways to look at many different scenarios. So you'll start to see that as well. Um, also, uh, being you can also experience uh, being a little bit impatient, like just real snappy, real jittery, real impatient for no reason. Um, and that's just part of the, the old programming and, and part of the, the wave. So what you can kind of do is call upon your ancestors, your spirit guides, or your angels, and just tell them to tune stuff down a notch for you. Um, also, if you feel like you're losing time and time is going too fast, 